going on everybody? Today we're going to Marco Island from Key West. Let's do it. So you can see the back end of a manatee right there. It's like, what is that? Well, it turns out it's a manatee. Today we are going to be taking this boat, Key West Express, to Marco Island. It also goes to Fort uh, Myers. But anyway, here we are at the terminal in Key West. You see right here, Key West Bike, Bagler Station. Let's do this. All right, so we are officially boarding the ferry boat. We have the Big Cat Express right here. About seventy-five dollars. I'll confirm that. How much exactly I paid for this here in a moment. But yeah, there's the phone number. You can call them ahead of time if you have any questions. But let's do this. We're going to Marco Island. All right. So if you're outside, you don't have to wear a mask. So I'm going up here on the top. You don't need a mask up here. As long as I'm up here, I'm just kind of going to show you guys around the boat while we're doing this. I'm a little early. We leave in about 40 minutes. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Might sit up here. Let's see. Oh, this is closed up here. sharks, tarpon, manatees, all in this little uh, harbor area right here. Remember, Key West is America's only Caribbean island. That's pretty good. to the beach. So we've officially arrived here in Marco Island. As you can see, the beautiful white sand beaches that you don't get in Key West, you can get here on Marco Island. 
A couple things that you're going to want to know about this ferry. It takes about three hours to go from Key West to Marco Island. That is quicker than if you were to drive a car. Yep. Some people want to know, can you actually take a car onto the ferry? No, you cannot. It does cost $175 to go one way to Fort Myers. If you just do the one way to Naples, or well, in this case, Marco Island, it's around $130 to $140 per person. Uh, for seniors, it does get cheaper from there. Uh, but the total ride to the uh, destination here is about four hours. See you on the next one.